Life and work carried on in Arlo, and so did I. Until one day the new sheriff came in, said he heard I'd been in the army, needed a man who could handle a gun. Within the hour, I found myself bundled off with a posse, holding a rifle for the first time in a decade. We were told to make a little detour, find the old sheriff outside of town. The old man was willing enough, and before long the four of us were riding back into town. But as we got closer, the town seemed dead quiet. The new sheriff was shot to pieces, right where he said he'd be waiting for us. He was the first dead man I had seen in a long time. The townsfolk said a gang of bandits had come through. They were holed up in the station. We went carefully, keyed up for an ambush. I wasn't good for much at the time, but I could recognize the voice of the sheriff's son who had run away. Apparently, the bandit had some grudge against the old sheriff. He thought the boy would want to get even with the man who had taken away his father. But he misjudged. The room went quiet, but I still couldn't hear the last things they said to each other. But then the cavalry arrived, and all they saw was a man with a gun. And I was left alone in a room full of dead men. Well... Arlo didn't care to have a coward in the town. And I didn't care to tell him they shot an innocent man. I guess I gotta take solace in what that preacher said. Only God knows what a man was in the end. <laughs>